I am in Paris currently, and I'm heading to uh, Jardin d'Acclimation. I'm butchering the pronunciation, and it's actually within Paris. It's like a garden park, and it's got like four family coasters, a number of rides. It looks beautiful. It's like super old, like 1800s. You know, it's part of Paris's history, so I'm gonna explore the gardens, go on some rides for a few hours. It should be a fun time. And on the way to the park, I obviously gotta get like a French pastry, you know, pâtisserie. I'm camping out again. This is like a pecan tart. I love the packaging. Delicious. It's like the French version of a pecan pie. So good. Got a little train here. I like these decorations. Yeah, so I know almost nothing about this park except the gardens and vaguely the four coasters. So this is going to be an interesting just discovery. I love the music. It looks like there's maybe a plague carousel over there, I think. A lot of schools. This is so cool. I love that theming. This is so cool. The first ride I saw was like this like little boat ride. I don't know anything about it. But it's like, look, you got all these Dia de los Muertos decorations around it, which is fantastic. But the music really makes you feel like, along with the dense vegetation, that you're just like in the jungle or something. Like in like Central America or like somewhere in Mexico. This is one of the most aesthetically pleasing coasters. Just watching the little cars go around. This like super forest area. Like it's like they cut down no trees to make this somehow. And just fit it into the natural landscape. This is sick. I just saw a kid chasing after like a little peacock. I don't know what other park you see that at, but that is so cool. Also, yeah, Speedy Rockets. Really fun family coaster. Um, obviously, it's tiny, but the way it weaves through the trees, I mean, like, my arm literally touched, like, a tree branch or some leaves, which was really cool. No rides in this area, but, yeah. Look at this. So cool. I love the sound of all the birds. This is all space. And look at the gardens too. I like the statue. The music they play again. Everything about it, this park is just so well done. I like these guys are out. These are cool. Hello. Nice Dude, it's a straight up wall. I've never seen a bird like this. It's like a road runner. Look at how fast he's running. What the heck? This is the coolest thing ever. There's not many views like this, like anywhere, you know? A statue in a garden with like a nice pretty amusement ride behind it. Would you look at that? There is more. I haven't seen a peacock in years. That's so cool. These are some really gorgeous gardens to walk through right here. Not a ton of like thrill rides or rides for someone like me, but like, this is great to walk around. Oh, I like those roses. Look, they got this little creek here. They can just like walk around. There's like some wooden chairs to sit down right next to. Honestly, like this is one of the most peaceful places I've ever been to. I would love to just like sit down and relax and just Oh my god, like you're surrounded by nature. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on walking and see where it takes me. That's kind of the vibe here. Because the place is huge. Yeah, look at this. Like, pull up bar? Yo, I've never done a pull up at a theme park, but like, why not? I'm gonna do one. I said do one, but I actually did 11. Not the flex. Yeah, your boy, your boy ripped. What is this? Going stilt? I don't get this. You just like walk through it. Jump from one peg to another, keeping your balance. Okay. This is weird, the rope gets in the way. I know the rope is for balance, but that's funny. Oh, monkey bars. Okay, I'm definitely doing this one. I love monkey bars. Are French people like abnormally tall or something? I couldn't get up here. I feel so like ashamed, like a short person. I'm like 5'9", this is, this shouldn't happen. Our friend, is it, this is meant for like six foot tall men. 
I don't get it. This whole area definitely feels like I took a step back 150 years into like what French recreation was like for like the wild thing, you know. It's also cool that like everyone here, I haven't seen it, heard a single person not speaking French, unless they're like speaking to me, obviously. So it's definitely a local park, which is cool, you know, a real true city park, which that's the thing I love about city parks is like, <laughs> They're beloved and stuff, but when you're a tourist, they're not on most people's like to-do lists. So you can really break away from the tourism while still seeing something like recreational and really fun that people of the city and Parisians do. Also, like this is my first time seeing like the French skyline and like the Parisian skyline in terms of like actual like skyscrapers. That's really cool. Those are beautiful buildings. So this is the Korean Garden or I guess Garden of Seoul. This is the one I was most excited for. I heard about it. This is very tranquil. Oh, that is not, I was like, they yeah, are Korean and French, not for me. This is beautiful. Oh, you can't actually walk up to it. Again, I'm pretty sure there's not a single amusement park in the world that would have like a Korean garden. This place is very unique. That's very accessible in the French metro system too. You walk through this pagoda to get to the coaster. It's another pity coaster, it goes on twice. And a cool dragon on the front. This is adorable. That's pretty, I like that. Okay, this thing, the Pigeonette. Oh yeah, we got English, the Dove Coat, a refuge for the winged postman. So this is from 1875, shortly, like, pretty much right when or after the park opened. That is so cool, so this little legitimately is a historical landmark in the middle of a theme park. This place just has everything. Get our last coaster out of the way. And look, it gets really close to Speedy Rockets back there, which is sick. Oh, they're spinning. Also, I'm gonna be by myself, so I feel like I'm gonna be spinning like crazy. I think it's time for a ride on the swings. In a weird way, that might have been my favorite ride so far. I mean, it just felt so like. I was sent back 100 years and I was on this old fashioned ride. You got like, the paintings and stuff. It's very artistic and very just like old fashioned, the wave swinger. Uh, you're right next to this thing. You're going so close to nature. The music they play during the ride is very like turn of the century. Beautiful. You can just make out the skyscrapers above the tree line. And you just feel that like autumn breeze in your face. It's like 60 degrees. Absolutely perfect weather for a garden park. Like. All these gardens or like parks I've been going to in Europe, oh, fall is my favorite time of year. So it is just gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Right now I'm walking, um, I'll be meeting up with some friends at Arc de Triomphe to do a walk on like that famous Champs Elysees Street. Um, but first, you know, I gotta walk the Arc and I'm gonna get lunch. When you think of Paris, this is not what you normally think of, but. I am living for it. This is so sick, and it's so close to Arc de Triomphe too, which is like, yeah, if you want to take a nature respite from all the crowds and tourists, just walk around here. It's it's really tranquil. You hear the sounds of nature. There's some cars, but it's it's beautiful. Okay, I'm in the middle of the road right now. I mean, like not actually, but sort of. Look at all these beautiful skyscrapers over there, and then oh my god. The Triumph is massive. That is so cool looking. So yeah, lunch was at an Italian place. It was called Chez Paolo. Fantastic restaurant. Also look at this architecture. So beautiful. This is so unique. It's it's like a, a whole street full of like biker stores. Like they have Ducati, Honda. Oh my gosh, you know, you see this in books all the time. And here it is. Dude, that French flag hanging from it. Whoa, I don't know if I've seen a flag that big before. It's actually kind of awesome. Also, the people on top, that's so cool. I want to go up there. I'm just seeing how much it costs because that'll be fun. 
Oh, what is that thing sticking out of the sky? A weird looking radio tower. JK. So you gotta walk under the hood to get to it. Kind of a vibe, I like this a lot. So the line for tickets was absolutely insane. You couldn't book online beforehand, but um since I'm 18 to 25 and have an EU residence permit because you know I'm abroad in Budapest studying for the semester, I could get to go for free, but I gotta wait in this line that's probably like 30 plus minutes. I'd rather just walk around to be honest. Enjoy one of the most famous streets in the world as I walk all the way down to Place de la Concorde. So this is gonna be pretty, I bet it's so much prettier at night. I see all the Christmas lights are already up. I wish I was walking this at night, but I got some other uh, night plans. That'll be very cool. So of course this is gonna be your main tourist walk of the city. You got some of the luxury stores, the decorations, stuff trying to lure all of us foreigners here. The classiest McDonald's around. It's funny seeing these like regular brands like Apple or Swatch and these absolutely gorgeous buildings. Architecture on point stores. Um you can find them at like your local mall. It's kinda of funny. Definitely picked the right time to go, not too cold. Holiday displays are out. Very classy. This definitely reminds me of like Rockefeller Center. So from the ground floor, you can take the escalator down to the food court and some other shops. Wow, it's like chocolate but art. No wonder the prices are out of this world. This is pretty cool. I finally got my macarons, one caramel, one rose. They were fantastic. Bought some uh, to bring back home, uh, to work, and for myself. This is such a cool place. Again, very bougie. That's not my luggage. What the heck? Just to give some perspective, look, that's where I started. Basically, the concord you can almost see over there, the big old monument. I'm so fascinated by this fountain. That's like the coolest thing ever. See, so yeah, now the shops kind of end. So look at that beauty. Over there is like the Grand Palace. I wish I had more time to walk through this, but alas, I'm trying to get to the Ile de Seat and see a couple of famous churches on the island in the Seine before a special night. So I'm gonna drop off my Madelines at my hostel and then take the short walk to the island. But yeah, didn't fully get to play Still Concord. Technically I didn't walk the full Champs Elysees, but I think this is close enough. That was, that was a good walk. Crazy, these beautiful buildings are right by my hostel. After a quick stop back, well, the sun's going down and the things are looking beautiful. Oh my god. And now it's time for Ile de la Cite, City Island. And this is actually my first time crossing over the Seine. I've like not even seen the river my entire time here because I've just been on one side of it. And this man's speedboating. I would like to be him right now. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. rivers in the world and it's under my feet it's such a big river too like look this is literally an island in the middle of it that I'm about to walk on to every river city I go to you gotta have the river walk finally it has happened that's where I was just walking across now I'm on an island dude whoever's in Paris is dirty and kind of ugly um yo look in the mirror look in the <laughs> no that was me but I, literally like this city is so freaking pretty Whoa, that's stunning. I'm still figuring out my Parisian buildings. That might be the Parthenon. So yeah, that is the Parthenon of uh, Paris. Oh, that's a really cool structure in there. Now I'm walking on a bridge between islands, leaving uh, St. Louis Island, which is the name of the one I was just on, behind the city island where, whoa, yeah, you can see a lot of construction is going on. For Notre Dame Cathedral, which sadly burned down. That is so cool, just in the middle of the street. It's 
sad to see that under so much scaffolding. And I'm sure the renovation will uh, do justice to make it look, you know, good as new and just really beautiful. Even behind the walls, that stained glass is so iconic and beautiful. I think this is the perfect time to see it because of all the construction and so on. So it gives it this really spooky look. Wow. that iconic St. Chapelle. I hope it's still open. If not, I'll just admire it from the outside. But yeah, we're gonna see inside another church while I'm in Paris. Because very sadly, this is my last and technically only full day here. Yeah, this is so cool with the lighting right now. I'm loving it. I'm now on the other side of the island. This is the same once again. And yeah. Unfortunately, during this time of year, it closed at 5 p.m., so that means I missed by like 45 minutes Saint Chapelle, which is a bummer, but that's okay. Damn, this street is like alive. Look at these lights. I don't know, this city is just like so many different districts in it. Just come alive at night. Tons of Euro places, tons of bars, French restaurants, crepes. This feels like, like a lot of Amsterdam, but a much nicer version. Oh, it's getting wet. Oh, it's dripping on me. There they are. That is insane. These are all people. Whoa, this is a capture well, but. Amazing. Ah, oh, we're getting dinner and we're gonna be able to see the Eiffel Tower. We just saw the catacombs, all the Indiana Jones style dead people. Ah. Dude, it was that was cool. So met up with the friends. We had Lebanese food for dinner, pretty solid. And I'm gonna end out my last night in Paris, this whole vlog. The moon's very pretty. This is the same. Oh my god, there's Anjali's right next to me. Um Crepes, but we not ate, like his as much as the one last night. The one last night was better. Including the crepe maker, no it. Well, especially the crepe maker. Not about it. I was not a Karen about it, but that we can see that for another day. Um, this is a very pretty bridge. And this is called the Eiffel Tower. And it's nighttime. And look at this unobstructed view of Mr. Eiffel's prime creation, his lustful tower shining up to the stars above. I think that might be Venus. Oh, we know it. Yeah, I think that might be Venus. It's cool. We're just gonna close it out right here. Thank you all for watching. This is Anjali, and this is Paris. Bye bye. Bye bye, Eiffel Tower. I'll miss you.